Today, I'm going to be building a modern house in Bloxburg. More specifically, I'm going to be kind of recreating this photo. Because I saw it on Pinterest and I'm like, oh, I literally gasped. I was like, I need to recreate this. And now that I think of it, I actually haven't built a modern house in a long, long time. So this is going to be kind of fun. So as you can see here, I've already built the layout of the house. And here is the floor plan if you wish to copy it. The first floor and the second floor. So yeah, pretty simple. It's not like a big, big house. I think we're going to have like the living room here, garage here, kitchen and dining room. And the bathroom can go here. And I think on the second floor, we have bedroom number one, ensuite, and bedroom number two with its closet. And I guess over here can be a laundry room. I don't know. It's not going to be a very big house. It's only going to be two rooms. And then out here is going to be the very beautiful pool. <laughs> Why is my character just saying, do it? Okay, the first thing I need to do is finish up the front yard. So the house I'm inspired by is actually called The Palms. And this is what it looks like. It is literally stunning. So we're going to do something very similar to that. Obviously not exactly the same. Because we do want to spice it up a little bit, okay? The one thing I do not like about Bloxburg is the fact that if I want a different colored driveway it's gonna clash with the footpath so what we do to fix this little issue is put a basic shape on the ground make it nice and flat and if you have the transform tool make sure it's like right at the bottom and then all you want to do is put the carpet on top of this basic shape and then voila you have your own footpath and you know me i love outlining my footpath with these plain markings just to kind of give it like a stepping stone illusion i don't know what the sorcery is behind doing this but i am obsessed with it every single time oh la la she's so pretty and on the driveway we'll need some light to kind of light it up a little bit. You know what, guys? I actually have not used these modern bollard lights. How do we feel about them? I feel like they're way too chunky because we are going for like a minimalistic modern house. So we don't want something too bulky. All right, you know what? There's these round garden lamps. They're kind of cute. There we go. Okay, not too bad. And then for the fence around the house, I'm just going to use an aluminum fence. And we want lots of privacy in this house. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to make this entire thing one big fence. We're going to have a driveway gate right here and a matching fence gate right next to it. And I'm pretty sure they added like new coconut trees. They did, they added coconut palm trees. Wait, that's kind of ironic considering this house is actually called The Palms. <laughs> Get it? Because it's it's a palm tree. Okay, I'll stop with the bad jokes, okay? And you know what we need in here? A little bit of gardening. We love me some gardening. Okay, what else can we have out here? You know what? I kind of want to have a pool out here. Like, we're going to have a pool in the backyard, but what's stopping me from having another one at the front? You know what? I'm going to do it. I don't know how big I want this pool though. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're going to have a really big pool. You know what? It's kind of a vibe. I'm not going to lie. And of course, we can't forget our good old underwater lights. And I guess we can have like one single tube in here. Okay, I'd say our front yard's looking pretty scrumptious. Oh, we're also forgetting the car in the driveway. We definitely need to add the sports car. I'm actually in the middle of looking to buy a car and I really want to get the MX-5 because I mean, look at it. It looks like it has little eyeballs. I just realized, why did I add a whole front yard when I haven't even painted the house? Like, what am I doing? Okay, let's finally paint this house, shall we? I feel like because it's a modern house, we can do like a nice cream color or actually maybe concrete would look nice. We can do like concrete at the bottom. These two sections here are going to be made out of four wall paintings because as you can see in the photo this bit's kind of made out of cobblestone so wall painting down there a few more up here and as for the rest of the house i'm just going to be making out of concrete because the majority of the house is going to be made out of windows so you're not going to really be able to see much of it okay and for the roof i'm actually going to make this a little bit different i'm thinking we can do like grass for the top of the roof because as you can see in the photo if we zoom into the roof there's like plants hanging off the roof so i definitely want to incorporate that somehow okay now as for the windows i'm going to be using clear windows instead of modern windows because they end up cheaper. Modern windows are actually a big fat scam. So guys, I'm telling ya, instead of modern windows, use clear windows. Okay, the reason I'm adding so many windows in here is because I want to make it as bright as possible. And this part is going to be leading out to the pool. So I want to make sure these doors are like really big, especially over here. I think we might do like an open concept. So like where the pool is going to be, we're going to have like a massive opening here. Actually, no, scratch that. We're going to have two massive openings. So something like that. And then to give this a little bit more structure we can go in with some scrum diddly yum yum plain high arch and finally some curtains because i mean we do need our privacy and for the walls the majority of them are going to be white because obviously this is a modern house and in most modern homes they usually stick to like a neutral color palette so like white black beige yeah i love this house but i don't understand why i made the room so small i don't think anyone is going to use this layout because all the bedrooms are like tiny and it's only two bedrooms oh we also need to add wall trims for some reason i always forget to add wall trims we're also going to add windows upstairs but I don't want you to be able to see the windows so what I'm gonna do is place pillars in front of the windows that way it's kind of hiding the windows but if you're looking from the inside you can still see outside oh and we can't forget some good old lights up here to lighten up the roof okay and the outside's done now we just need to add some pretty little plants up here I think we're gonna do a mixture of like hanging potted plants and just some like natural plants and grass because as you can see they literally have like a ton of shrubs up here you know I guess we can also add some up here as well you know in Minecraft how they have bone meal and you can 
can just place it on the grass and it'll place like a bunch of plants. That's what I wish Bloxburg had. So I wouldn't have to place all these shrubs that take forever. There's some things that I like in Bloxburg and there's some things that I do not like. One thing that I do not like doing in Bloxburg is gardening, which is funny because I actually love gardening in real life. Okay, let's see how this turned out, shall we? Oh, okay. That's actually looking nice. Okay, so now that the outside's all finished, now we can finally start decorating the inside. So I think the first room that I want to work on is obviously the living room, which is in here. And we've also got like a little entry area. And as we're going for like a very minimalistic look, we're not going to add like too much furniture to make it very cluttered. We're just going to kind of keep it very like simple. Oh, we need a nice like big mirror as soon as you walk in the house. So, you know, you can like stare at yourself in the mirror before you leave. I remember once, oh my gosh, guys, you're going to laugh at me. I remember I was running late for school and I didn't check the mirror and I kid you not, I was wearing bunny slippers. I had to go all the way home just to put on my shoes. Like, can you imagine just walking into school with bunny slippers? Lately, I've been obsessed with this little Pixar desk lamp. I was using it in one of like my personal builds in Bloxburg and now I start using it all the time. You know what, guys? I feel like these walls should be lighter. What if we change them to white? That is so annoying. Now I have to go in every single room and change all the walls to white. This is why we can't have nice things, Alaska. Like, why did I wait until I painted the entire house to then be like, oh, actually, I don't like the color. Like, girl, are you dumb? <sighs> yes, I'm arguing with myself. Who is that? Y'all, my neighborhood is actually haunted, I swear. Again, I feel like that looks better. It's definitely like more light in here, which is good. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna add in here is a little bit of shoe storage. So I think what we're going to do is hide the bottom of this desk with a cube, and then we can place our shoes underneath the console table in a nice extravagant carpet. And there we go, we've got our beautiful entry area. And then right across the entry area, we have the lounge room. Actually, another thing I'm gonna do with the lounge room is actually knock down this wall. And we're gonna do the same concept like we did over here. Because again, this is where the pool's gonna be. So two openings and then a plain high arch. And it'll kind of just look like this. So then finally, we can start working on the living room. Okay, now for the fireplace, I have an idea for what I wanna do. Instead of like a regular fireplace, we're actually gonna use this wicker fireplace. But we're gonna place two of them like this. And then if you have advanced placement, we can put like a cube inside of the fireplace and then just place it underneath here so it's nice and minimalistic. And we can make this like granite. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we put a nice TV here, outline it with LED lights. Okay, and time for the big reveal. No. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. You know what's not beautiful though? This roof. You know what, forget the rest of this house. I just wanna live in the lounge room alone. And I think we're gonna stick to the stylish sofas. Oh, sorry, sophisticated sectional lounges. Anyway, we're gonna do a nice little corner lounge moment and then just make it all white because it is a modern house, if you didn't realize. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm in a modern house, I always see these big, chunky, chunky pillows. So we're gonna have a few chunky pillows in here with a cute little chandelier and for the coffee table, can you guys guess what I'm gonna do? Can you guys guess? If you guys guessed custom made coffee table, you guessed correctly. 20 points to you guys. Actually, you know what? I thought of something even better for the coffee table. You know what guys, we're gonna spice it up a little bit. Will this work? Maybe. I guess we'll see. So what we're gonna do is put like two convex straights like this and we're gonna make these like a wood texture and then we'll put a cube on top of this and then we can make the top out of concrete and then we can put like a fat little cactus on here. Oh my gosh, why is that candle so yellow? Okay, let's have a look. Oh! <gasps> Yo, I'm shivering my timbers. That looks bloody beautiful. Okay, the living room I think is like done. As you can see, we have like a little indent here. So all I want to do to fill this up is make this into a bookshelf. So we're gonna add books in here. Obviously, we're gonna add books in here. It's a bookshelf. Duh. Sometimes I say the most like dumb things. That's like the equivalent of saying today we're gonna be building a house and we're gonna be placing furniture inside. So something I like don't add in my Bloxburg builds anymore is photo frames. Like why do I never add photo frames? I'm gonna start using them more. Okay, and the reason I'm leaving this bottom book shelf empty is because I'm going to be making it into a chair. So with a little beveled cube and two little stools like this, and then we'll just close off this section by adding a beveled cube and a few more blankets to make it nice and cozy. And then like two little pillows like this. And there you go. We've got the cutest little reading area you've ever seen in your life. Okay. So I'd say the living room is complete. And now we can move on to the kitchen and the dining room. I'm actually so excited for this because I have the perfect idea. So in the Palms house, we actually have like access to the entire floor plan. But obviously I didn't want to make it too similar. However, this is the kitchen and I want to make the kitchen identical to this kitchen because it is beautiful. So at first they had like a few shaky cabinets up here. And as you can see in the photo, they had a little bit of storage on the right hand side. So all we're going to do to illustrate this is just put like three oak shelves and we're going to fit the stove like over in this corner. As for the fridge, I didn't really think about where I'm going to put the fridge. Oh wait, I guess I can place it over here. We can just place like a tall shaky cabinet.
cabinet right here. And then we can place the fridge inside. Okay, now for the color, the most similar color to this photo right here is vertical planks in cloudy gray. But if we have the color palette, we can actually make this a little bit brighter. So it's just like more accurate to the photo. Now, a little build hack that I've been obsessed with lately is making the fridge the same texture as the counters. So then it kind of like blends in and it ends up looking something like this. And I don't know why, it just looks so clean. And I'll also do the same to the microwave. So this is what the microwave looks like before and then after my little build hack. And you know what? We're also going to do the same to the oven. And there we go. We've got a nice, clean, modern kitchen set up. So now we just have to fill it in. So as you can see in the photo, they have windows behind these counters, which is actually so cute because it lets in a lot of natural light into the kitchen. So for this, we're just going to use square windows. And just by adding windows, it made it look like 10 times better. Now for these little shelves up here, I don't want to clutter them too much. So I think we're just going to place like two mugs up here, maybe a few plants, some good old Gordon Ramsay cookbooks. I guess some like random bottles of mustard. Okay, and I think that looks pretty cool. Oh, I just realized we also need the sink. Why do I always forget to add a sink? You know what this kitchen's kind of reminding me of? It's kind of reminding me of Kim Kardashian. Okay, and then for the island bench, as you can see in this kitchen, it has a really cool island bench and I kind of want to recreate it so it's like exactly the same as this one. Okay, so I don't usually use these modern island benches because one, they are so expensive. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be using them. So I reckon two benches like this will paint it so it's the same color as the kitchen. And you know what? Just to be that extra bit fancy, we're going to place pillars underneath this island bench. And you're probably like, oh, and you're probably like, Alaska, how can you be more fancy than that? Well, let me tell you, I'm going to put a beveled cube on the end of this island bench using my little BFF, the transform tool, because we love her. Okay, so for the chairs, I'm thinking we can use something similar to the photo, which is like these contemporary dining chairs. And we can slap a nice little lemon on the table. I love limes. <laughs> I love them. Actually, can we add another sink on here? Oh, we can. That is so cool. Okay, we're going to have a sink in here. You know what, guys? Tell me this island bench doesn't look identical to this one right here. You know what? I would say this one even looks better. And then a few chandelier pieces up here to really make the kitchen stand out. Okay, now that the kitchen's done, now we can do like the dining room. Dining room? Why am I... <laughs> <laughs> Why did my voice go like that? Okay, I think we're gonna go in this corner here. We're gonna do like a round coffee table moment. There wasn't really any photos of the dining table, except if we zoom into this photo here, they have like a round coffee table. So you know what? That's what we're gonna do. So boom, slap a vertical cylinder down. Boom, slap another vertical cylinder down. Boom, make it flat, bring it out, make it concrete. And you know what? Instead of regular chairs for my dining table, I'm gonna go into comfort and pick the most fanciest chairs. I think like two modern armchairs here looks nice. You know what guys? Why am I actually loving this modern house so far. We just need a painting here because we don't have many paintings. Hmm, should we have anything on this dining table? As it's a minimalistic home, I don't want too much furniture. We might just have like a paper pile with like a little coffee mug. That way it kind of gives the dining table a little bit more character. We also need more lights up here because I feel like it's like way too dark right now. Oh my gosh, you know what they need in Bloxburg? You know how they have like a power box where it like turns on all the lights in your Bloxburg house? What if they have like an automatic curtain opener? So like you press the button and all the curtains in your house open. Imagine they had it and I'm I'm just an idiot that didn't know. <laughs> okay, but low key, why do I want to have a piano in here? Like, I don't even know where I'd put a piano. <laughs> Should we just have a piano under the staircase? You know what? Why not? Oh my gosh, wait, guys, I just remembered we need the door here because this is where the bathroom's gonna go. It's fine. We'll just move the plants over on this side instead. And then we'll add the door to the bathroom over here. I kind of want the door to kind of blend in with the wall. <laughs> so we're gonna do something like this. I feel like that's definitely like a modern thing to do. Okay, as for the bathroom, they added these new like modern sinks and I'm actually obsessed with them. Oh, wait, if if we type up modern, they comes up with like a bunch of modern furniture. Wait, did they get rid of the modern sinks? I swear they had modern sinks. Ah, I found it. Modern floating vanity. Okay, perfect. We're gonna put that in here. Oh my gosh, it's so difficult trying to build when you've already built the walls because I'm trying to like zoom in to see what I've done. You know what? If there is a will, there is a way and Alaska Violet will find the way. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Ed talk. We also need a nice little towel and some soap because if you do not wash your hands, you're a dirty pig. You should wash your hands. You dirty pig. I didn't do a poo. Wait, can we place towels underneath here? Oh, good. We can. Perfect. Okay, this section of the bathroom is looking scrum diddly yum yum. I need to stop saying scrum diddly yum yum. We're only going to have a toilet in here, but we're not going to have a shower. We're going to save the shower for the upstairs bathroom. Okay, so we'll just add a bath mat in here, and I think the downstairs bathroom is complete. Okay, as for the garage, though, I'm going to leave this pretty empty, except for adding, like, two plants back here and, like, a nice big painting. And most garages will have a little bit of storage. Oh, we can have a little mountain bike up here. That's kind of cute. 
cute. Also, next to the carpet on the garage, we're gonna put like a little bit of like landscaping lights. Okay, and I think that's it for the garage. And the last room we have downstairs is obviously the backyard. So what we're gonna do actually is make this entire thing one big pool. Like I'm talking one big infinity pool. And the reason I have this like massive section back here is so I can place like a bunch of lounge chairs out here. And then in between these lounge chairs, we're gonna just have like outdoor tables with of course some umbrellas on top. Oh my gosh, why is this actually looking so relaxing? A cute little thing I do for like my outdoor areas is I'll put like a roll towel at the end of the bed. And then on one of them, I'll put like a blanket that's coming out. So it kind of looks like the towels like all around the place. I guess we can have like more towels. Oh, we can put some like retro glasses with some sunscreen because you know, you gotta lather up on that SPF. Oh wait, I forgot they added a bunch of new beach stuff. Oh, <gasps> a wooden beach cabana. Oh, okay. We're so adding this over here. Wait, I thought of something so cool. What if I added that on top of the pool? Wait, if I put a basic shape on top of the pool. Wait, stop. It low-key works. And you know what? On top of this cabana, we can have a little sun chair. Maybe some fongs or flip-flops, whatever you call it. Okay, that actually turned out so cute. We also have a section over here. And this is kind of where I want to have like a fireplace and barbecue moment. Okay, so this section here is going to be a basement. Okay, and now what we're going to do is go in with a cube and kind of like fill in this section here. I promise I'm not going crazy. I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Sometimes when I'm building in Bloxburg, I will have no idea what I'm doing. I just do it. And you know what? Sometimes it goes really good and sometimes it flops. Okay, so we're going to paint this like grass. Okay, and to make this outdoor seating area a little bit more cozy, we can go in with a few folding beach chairs. And there you go. We've got a cute little outdoor seating area that kind of looks like a cult gathering. Okay, now that the first floor is all finished, now we can finally start working on the second floor up here. So the first thing I notice when you walk in is we've got like this little empty section here. So I think what we're going to do up here is make this like a little office desk. So I'm thinking like maybe two of these quadratic desks. Oh my gosh, guys, can you say desks or like masks? Why am I saying s like s s s Am I the only one with this problem? <laughs> Try say masks without saying s s at the end. It's really annoying and frustrating. Try say it. <laughs> So we're going to put two quadratic desks here, but we're going to kind of make this like one big desk. So we're only going to have one laptop. And in modern houses, there's usually like random decor around the place. Like what even is this foil net sculpture? Like that is so random, but modern. So we're adding it. Also for the chair, I'm actually just going to copy the one from downstairs because I want to keep the furniture like relatively similar, like not too like drastically different. Because again, in most modern houses, all the furniture literally looks the same. I love how I'm like, guys, we're not going to make this desk too cluttered. And I add like 50 things. Oh my gosh, guys we're missing a rail. This is why I could never do a Bloxburg role play. There would be way too many accidents in my house. Oh my gosh, wait, I accidentally painted this wall gray and uh, why does that look amazing? Okay, we're definitely keeping that gray wall. I feel like above the stairway, there definitely needs like to be a nice chandelier. <gasps> I hate when you place lights down in Bloxburg and they're so incredibly bright. Okay, now for the laundry room over here, I might just stack them. I love stacking them like this for some reason. And then what I usually do, I put a shaky cabinet on top like this and we've also got empty space in the corner here which is like the perfect place to add some cleaning equipment and then on this section I usually add a sink and then you add it right there like this with some stacked soap okay and there we go we have our beautiful laundry room okay and then lastly we've got the two rooms over here I think we might work on the master bedroom first and I think I want my bed up along this wall you know what I feel like we should make this little section a balcony so we're just gonna put like a glass railing here okay and surprisingly the room's actually pretty big it fits like a double bed I have a feeling these bedrooms are actually gonna turn out really nicely oh my gosh I never know what fabric to use for the bed. I always struggle with this. I think we might just stick to some good old marble bed sheets. I feel like the more blankets we add, the better the bed looks. Okay, usually I add like 800,000 pillows, but today we're only going to add three. I know, improvements guys, improvements. And I feel like a nice fancy painting above the bed would look super cute, but I don't know where we're going to put the TV. So I think we're going to do a floating TV moment up in this corner. Alaska, how are you going to do a floating TV? Well, let me show you. Boom, basic shape. Make the basic shape tiny. Lift the basic shape up like this. Put a TV in the middle and then with the transform tool we can grab it and kind of like maneuver our way. Sometimes the transform tool will listen to me, sometimes it will not and right now it is being a pain in my ass. Okay, so TV up in this corner like this. Okay, and the last thing we need in this bedroom is obviously some closet. And for this, I think we're just going to use this industrial wardrobe rack. Okay, and I think that's it for bedroom number one. It's very simple, but like that is the purpose of a modern house. As for the ensuite, it's literally going to be identical to the one downstairs. So I'm not going to really show you the process of me doing it because it's going to be very boring. Actually, the only difference this bathroom is going to have is that it's going to have a shower, but everything else exactly the same. So now finally, we've got bedroom 
number two over here. Now, as you can see, bedroom number two is very, very small. So instead of a double bed, it's going to be single bed. And I guess back here, we can make this like custom wallpaper. Oh my gosh. And you know what I haven't used in ages? My beautiful initials. So there you go. This kid gets my AV initials above their bed. If you have a house in Bloxburg and your bedroom doesn't have AV initials on top, what are you doing? Get onto Bloxburg right now and put my initials above your bed. R exactly like that. You better. And you better send me a photo. I need photo evidence. Okay, this section of the bed's done. However, we've still got the closet over here. So what I might do is actually knock down this wall just so we have like more room in here. You know what? Knocking down that wall was actually the best decision I have ever made in my life. Because this way I have room to add a little vanity table. We can place some makeup on top. Ooh, makeup. Y'all, yeah, speaking of makeup, I went out to a little party the other day and I was wearing mascara and I rubbed my eye. And I'm not even kidding. There was mascara all on my eyeballs. And my friend was like, Lask, you have mascara all on your face. Okay, and I think the modern house is all complete. So now I'm just gonna go quickly change up all the decals and then I'll give you a little tour. All right, my modern house is all complete and comes to a total of $234,000. So this is how the exterior turned out. It kind of reminds me of like a modern villa and I absolutely love it. All right, so making our way inside, as you can see, we have a lot going on in the front yard. We've got a massive pool. We can go for our nice little dips. I think my favorite thing about this modern house is, is how the, all the leaves like hang down from the roof. It's like, oh my lord, it's so pretty. And this is my beautiful modern car where we run people, I meant drive to work like normal people. Okay, so firstly, we have the garage in here. As you can see, it's like very, very empty, but I kind of like it. And then if we jump on top of our car and make our way inside here, we have the gorgeous entry area. And then across from this, we have the lounge room. I think the lounge room is actually my favorite place in this entire house. Like I love the way the fireplace turned out, like the lounge, the coffee table, this little section here. And you can actually sit down in here. Like look how cute this is. Like you can grab a book with a blanket on top of you reading a book. It's everything. And my favorite thing about the lounge room is is that everywhere you look, you have like a beautiful view. Like on the left, we've got a view of the pool. On the right, we have a view of another pool. It's just everything. If this was my living room, I would be in here all the time. And can we just appreciate this gorgeous coffee table? She's kind of hanging on by a thread, but we love her. Oh my gosh, I forgot how beautiful this kitchen is. <gasps> I actually have no words. Like this island bench alone, I love the way this turned out. There was like a massive empty space here, so I just added a piano. I was gonna do like a white and black kitchen because it was a modern house. I feel like the beige definitely looked better. And here we have our little mini dining table. There's only two seats here because, well, technically this is a two bedroom house. Even though if we come back here, there's like four outdoor chairs. Oh my gosh, I nearly forgot about the downstairs bathroom. That's how well it blends in. So coming here, we've got a secret little door that leads into the bathroom. As you can see, it's very simple. We've got our big fancy modern toilet where we do our big fancy poos. I probably shouldn't sit on a toilet in front of you guys considering there is a full cult going on called the Alaska poop cult. I don't even want to question it. You guys are strange people. This is my favorite bit about this section, ready? You can actually close all these blinds. So it's like nice and private during the night and during the day, it's just beautiful. I really like how I added this little section over here. I think this is like such a nice touch. So yeah, we've got like a bunch of different seating options. Look how beautiful the view is from this house. Like it literally just feels like I'm in a villa right now. And if you think that's beautiful, that's just the downstairs area. Now we have the second floor. As soon as you walk up, we have the office, which is over here. This idea for the office is actually pretty cool. I can't believe I've never done this before. Oh, <gasps> you can play work at a pizza place? I was actually obsessed with this game when I was little. Before I knew what Bloxburg was, I would always play work at a pizza place. And then if we come over here, we've got the laundry room. The laundry room is actually very cute. And then opposite the laundry room, we have bedroom number one. This is kind of like the kids' bedroom, so it's a little bit like more cluttered compared to the other rooms. There was a wall here originally, so I'm really glad I knocked this down because over here, we've got our beautiful vanity table. This better not stain my face, I swear. Just It just stained my face. One thing I love about this bedroom is you can see like all the plants on the roof. We have a little iPad and this amazing modern wallpaper. And then coming all the way across here, we've got bedroom number two. It's just so modern and it's minimalistic. I just know it smells nice in here. And then in here, we've got our ensuite, which is like very, very similar to the downstairs bathroom. Like, can you picture just sitting in this bed, watching TV right in this corner? And during sunset, this room is actually stunning. Like when it hits 5 p.m., this sunset in here is just mwah, chef's kiss. And not just sunset, even when I make it like a 
a thunderstorm. Look how cool it looks like during a thunderstorm. Are you kidding me? Just when you think this bedroom couldn't get any more better, we have a balcony. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I want to live here. I am, however, not obsessed with my face. Why is my face looking like that? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. Anyway, guys, that was me building a modern house in Bloxburg. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed building it. If you want me to feature one of your video ideas in a future video, all you have to do is comment them down below and be subscribed to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.